Hey, everybody. Let me know when you get here, and I need to go to comments. I need to know um, if everybody can hear me okay, if there's no echo, anything like that. Um, and I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to get on here, and then we're going to start on our um, finishing our journal, our album. Very cool. I went ahead and stamped a couple things ahead of time and die cut them. Hey, Deborah. Okay, good. So um, everything is good. You can hear me and all. Hey, Darlene. Okay. Awesome. I need a little sip of water. And then we're ready. Hi, Betty. Okay. So tonight, last night we did our, um, oh, good. Good, Deborah. Thank you. Um, last night we got the base of our book done and again, we used five, um, five by seven ish envelopes. The measurements were a little bit off from what I expected. Um, but we got the base done. We added some of our cardstock layers. Um, now tonight we're going to go back through and finish all the pages, add some designer paper that we cut. Um, I actually ended up recutting, like trimming that down a little. I went, I decided an eighth of an inch wasn't going to do it. So I'm going to give you those new measurements. Um, so let's just get to it. All right. Let's go here. Solo layout. Hey, Rose, you are here. Awesome. Okay. So just to remind everybody, um, I'm going to have my blog updated tomorrow. Like it's just been a busy week, but this class, if you want the stuff and, uh, you want to make your purchase, then you get the, all the doodads, bits and pieces, cardstock that you need to finish it. You get that for free. As long as you order these five things, um, with the hostess code Q U G G W G T K. Um, that is going to be on my blog tomorrow. So, um, do, 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 that's it. Yep. You'll get the craft, the craft envelopes, assorted cardstock cut to sizes needed 10 sheets of the copy paper for the little journals that we made last night. Those two journals. Hey Sue. Awesome. Um, two yards of linen thread, and then the PDF will be emailed. So the difference with the PDF, like I'll put the measurements up on my blog, but with the PDF, you get a close-up picture of every page and the measurements for that particular page. You're watching me on a 55 inch TV. Oh my God. How does that look? Does it look horrible or is it, is it really good? <laughs> I can't even imagine. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to be using, again, I'm using Blessings of Home and Ranunculus Romance. You use any vintage looking set that you want, any flowers, it's up to you. Let me get this out of the way. Um, so let's start with, get these out of the way. Um, actually, let's go over the cardstock first. So I decided to trim these down. I didn't trim the cardstock down. So these pieces are still five and an eighth by seven. So all the pieces that we needed for inside our album and these extras that we have um, and for the covers, five and one eighth by seven. So I went back and trimmed all my designer series paper down to, so I have a quarter inch border. So these are all four and seven eighths across by six and seven eighths or my six and three quarters four and seven eighths by six and three quarters. All right. And those are going to layer very nicely because, um, it's tight when we're adding these, uh, little flips and things, it adds a little bit more to the edge. So yeah, Rose, I wouldn't want to see my face on a 10 inch screen. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I think I have two big zits on my face right now. Who gets zits at 53? This is annoying. Like the last two weeks has been crazy. Ugh. All right. Um, so we've got this and this is our book just to look through again. We started our cover. Then this is our little pocket with one of our little albums. Um, basic gray page, Misty Moonlight, Garden Green with another little album and then our back cover. Um, so like I said, well, I didn't tell you, I went back and remade the, the cover so that they would fit nicer nice even border because these other ones were just too 
Um, it was had more poking out on the sides and then it was like edge to edge up top. So I'll just take these and make some cards with them. Um, probably some five and a half by seven and a half or something, but let me put those away, put them in the pile. All right. So what I want to start with is some stamping just so it has time to dry because part of what you need, um, in your order, or if you already have it is shimmery white cardstock. All right. And that takes a little bit to dry. So I want you to cut, um, first off, we're going to cut a piece that is, we're going to use for our front cover, like the, how we're going to have something layered on the front cover. So I want you to cut a piece that's five and a quarter by three and a quarter for that of your shimmery white. And this, I'm just taking a scrap that I have. So five and a quarter by three and a quarter. Um, I'm going to do some stamping on this and then I'm going to layer it on another piece. Hey, Carol, Carol, did you ask me last night? Um, you're not on replay, by the way. Um, did you ask me about the beads? I could have sworn I saw a comment and then in my notifications and then I couldn't ever find it. I could never go back to it. If I think it was you, you're asking about the beads. Um, I got these, the pins. I got these from uh, one of Gail's friend. Her name is Gloria Wolf. And I can try to message you um, her, like how to get in touch with her. And it was $10 and that, I think that included the shipping. Um, so if that's the case, I will message you. Okay. So again, cut this piece three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that's the only thing we're going to cut out of that right now. Um, then you want to take what's left of your scraps and we want to stamp our biggest flower. And I'm using Catherine Pooler Midnight Ink. This is not sold by Stampin' Up. Obviously, it's Catherine Pooler, um, but I like it. I like it for, it's a good crisp black. It works well with the rubber stamps. Um, I get a good image, and but it only ta it takes a little bit to dry. So I'm going to do that one and this other flower from the um, Blessings of Home. And these have dyes with them. Okay. So that's that. And then I actually went and stamped and die cut um, this little rose from uh, the Ranunculus Rose. And I already cut those out. Hey, Julie. Hey, Penny. So I want you to do this stamping first so that it can dry. All right. And then this piece that we cut for our cover, the three and a quarter by, ooh, my mouse is getting crazy in the wrong spot. Um, three and a quarter by four, five and a quarter. We're going to save that. So put that off to the side, put this off to the side to dry. Um, and let me do a little bit of cleanup. I don't want to let this ink just hang out on my stamps. I mean, it's really good, but, um, I also don't want to just leave it here. I do like my stamps to be clean if at all possible. Okay. Penny, did you share your card with Sue that you used for her, um, that you used her design? You should, cause that was totally cool. Sue, you're, um, when you did the mix and match designer series papers. Okay. So next, Oh, now remember this leftover, um, copy paper. If we have time, I'm going to show you another little thing that we can make with that. Um, so let's get to actually I need my white paper back. Um, stamp images. Yep. 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 Okay. We're going to start with our first set of inside pages. Now, remember I've got all this stuff everywhere. Ugh. I've got all these strips up here. This is all the stuff that I cut off yesterday. So you're going to get all these. Um, that's from when I cut the cardstock layers. So I've got my pile of DSP and some extra. Um, remember I had those two pieces of pale papaya left. Your leftover bits are going to be, it's dependent on what you use for your pages because you're not going to have to use the same colors that I use. Um, and everything I'm doing like just coordinates. I'm not doing matchy matchy stuff and you'll see what I mean. Um, so let's go through, this is going to be your pile of extra bits that are cut and going to be scored. And we're just going to go, it goes top to the, um, 
top to bottom, page one, page two, page three. So I'm going to have those in the corner. And let's move this and this. All right, so first page, I'm going to need my cinnamon cider pieces. So this is this layer. So what I want for this one is um, we're going to have this here. Actually, you know what? I have to take these little albums out because they're making it a little bit bulky for some stamping. Um, so I want this here and this here. And then I'm going to take, um, I want, I was going to do a pocket down here, but instead I want to do like a belly band ish pocket. So I'm going to take one of these strips that was left over and I want this to go the entire width of um, this cinnamon cider base. So this is going to be, I'm going to cut this at five and one eighth. All right, because that's how wide those cardstock layers were. Five and an eighth. And then I'm going to take my cinnamon cider ink and I'm going to do a little bit of um, just random stamping. So I want this to be kind of collage-y. I have to keep this out of the way. So I want some of these um, words that are from Ranunculus Romance. You'll see what I mean this here and sideways and I am gonna have to clean these as I go um, some of these this floral image I'm just trying to get some random tone on tone now if you don't have cinnamon cider ink you just use Versamark same same uh, this little image that still don't know what it is uh, but just a little something okay Now let's glue these on. So first I want to glue on this designer series paper. Get my um, frosting a cake amount of glue just to make Rose happy. <laughs> I don't want this to move anywhere. All right. And this paper does have an up and down at least to me, like the bees need to be like going up that way. So let's get that on there. And again, if you choose to do your um, papers differently, that's up to you. All right. Now this, I'm just going to add, I want this to be a tuck spot. So I just want to put glue right here, right on the edges. Okay. Just a little. And I'm going to put it about an inch and a half or so up from the bottom. And I'm just going to hold that for a minute. Now I want a tag to go in here. So um, I'm going to just do that right now. because I'm going to do this page, this page, and then we'll flip. So the two cardstock layers that I had left over, I'm going to take one of these down, pale papaya, and I'm going to cut this. Um, let me check my notes here so I don't lie to you. Four by six. I'm going to cut this down to four by six. And if yours was a different color, you would do a different color. All right. So four by six. And now again, I want to do some random stamping, some collage type stuff. This is going to be, um, we call it a large journal tag or a photo mount. So I'm going to do some stamping on here, but you could add a picture. Um, you could just keep it decorated, like whatever you want. Actually, let me get this out of the way. I feel like everything does not fit on the desk. Okay, so I'm taking this, this image. And notice I didn't put my stamps or the stickers on all of them. Ooh, I like this. My papaya is nice and bright. And I'm doing this all tone on tone as well. So pretty much for the whole thing, all the stamping I'm going to do on the pages is going to be tone on tone. So you really just need a Versamark, but I'm using these because I have them. All right, I'm going to add this flower. Nice. And let's add this um, little... 
Paris thing and some of the words. Just make sure they're going the right direction. Nice. I wish I had some splatter stamp. Um, I didn't think about that. I'm sure I probably have one somewhere. Now you may think, oh, this looks like a hot mess, um, but I like it. I like all the different stuff because it's just really for something to look at. All right. Mm, I feel like I want one more flower. Let's just do this. Like right here. Okay. I like it. All right, I'm gonna make that pile there and do a little cleanup. As I go, it would have been easier just to use Versamark as far as the cleanup, but I'm into it with the colors. Rose, I'm killing you with the glue. <laughs> I mean, it's no wonder that I ran out. You said you had a bottle that lasted you a whole year. And I'm like, ooh, I got like two months out of my bottle. Okay, so this tag is going to go in here. Um, and actually, I've got a piece of white that's going to go on the back from my pile. So this should be, let's go back to notes, three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And if you wanted to do some stamping on it, you could. I'm just going to mount it. So my idea is have something on the front if you want, or just use this for a little journaling on the back. So they see something pretty on the front and then words, words, words on the back. Okay. Hmm. I like it. Now, if you wanted to round your corners, you do that before you attach that white. Okay. Um, now this part, uh, we're going to have our first side flip and I have cut that. Let's see, side flip, stamp all over. Yep. So I've got, um, a pale papaya side flip. This is four and a half by four. All right. So I want to score this and I'm going to score yours for you. Um, but I just wanted to show you all the steps. So four and a half by four, I'm going to score it at four because that gives me a half inch uh, border to do the, the flipping. So I fold this over, burnish it down. Now again, um, we want to do some stamping. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Like I shouldn't have cleaned these. I think I'm nervous, worried about time because I ran over so much last night and I didn't mean to, but that's how it happens sometimes, you know? Okay, let's get some of that, some of that. A little bit of this. One of these and one there. And I think I'm gonna leave that. Nope. Let's put one of these. Why not? Okay. Now I'm leaving that for sure. So side flip. Some people want to attach this um, first. It's up to you. Okay. You want this to be right up here as close to the edge, like right as close as you can get it. So you can either put glue on this side and attach it to your designer series paper first and then glue this whole thing down. You can do that. That's what I really prefer to do. Um, or you can glue it on here first and then add this piece. Okay. So I'm going to do it the way I want, which is put the glue on like the inside. Penny, you'd send this as a family birthday card. Yeah, why not? Or family Christmas card or something. They each get one page. <laughs> you don't want them to think they're special or anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, and by the way, I gave, um, remember the Valentine uh, book slash card that I made for my friend Anne? I mailed it to her last week 
and um, she messaged me as soon as she got it. She absolutely loved it. It was one of, she said, I'm going to treasure it forever. And she had already like shown it to a bunch of her friends. So, and if you're watching later, I am glad that you loved it because I enjoyed making it. All right. All this extra glue just for um, Rose's benefit and my peace of mind. Okay. Let's get this in here. Mmm, I am loving it. Okay. Now I am not including anything on the back. Like you can put, you can add a piece of white on the back if you want. Penny, you're not going to do all this work. It's a lovely thing. Um, but you can either put a picture or, you know, like I said, add another piece of white and do some journaling. And then you can do pictures here, whatever you want. Um, or just words. You can put more paper and just write on stuff but so that's our first one our first set um now don't forget we've got our pocket now we've got pages three and four and flip so going to our pile of designer papers i put these in order that i was going to use them these ones i wanted to use this wood grain print and let me flip the other page of my notes Ooh, this is going to have a step pocket. So in your kit of stuff, you're going to get two of these. These are actually from Tim Holtz. Um, Sharon out in California gave me some of these like as a um, happy mail kind of thing. And I had to find the die and, and get it. So I'm giving you basic gray and garden green. You can use whichever one you want here. Like I said, it doesn't have to be matchy matchy. So I think I might use the green one and save the gray one for later. Um, so we're going to have a step pockets. That's what I call these over here. And then over here, we're going to have a top flip. Um, actually, change my mind. Let's do gray because I'm going to have this be Misty Moonlight. And that might be too many colors. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, now, let's do garden green. I really don't want it to be all like blah 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 all right but i do want to um let's see we're going to ink blend some color because i don't want this to be all just white so let's see here we're going to have our flip this one's going to be a top flip so we're going to end up scoring this and it's going to go like that so i think i might hmm what color should we uh ink blend I'm thinking um, Fresh Freesia. Yeah. So let's get purple. And I'm sorry if this uh, shakes my camera a little bit. I can hear my ink pads like jostling. Oh, yeah, I love this. Now, this is another opportunity to stamp some of the flowers or some of the um, the bits on, like some of the collage stuff. Actually, I might stamp um, just one of the, the little rows or the bundle of the smaller flowers. Ooh, my little um, thing came off. These little color things I got from somebody on Etsy um, a long time ago. They were designed for the Catherine Pooler ones, but she said, oh yeah, it'll fit the Stampin' Up ones, but they're kind of loosey-goosey, so I don't know if I can, in all good conscience, recommend those because they don't perform as expected. Like, I even asked, like, hey, you know, Stampin' Up ones are a little bit different. It's a good thing they don't make glue out of horses anymore. Rose. Sometimes horses are mean. I remember um, we used to go to North, down to North Carolina every summer for vacation. Like we'd go down for two weeks. Our, my mom's family lives down there. So we'd stay with our grandparents or the great aunts or uncles and hang out with our cousins. So there was always horseback riding because that's what they did. Um, and we were the city slickers. So we didn't know what we were doing. So um, one time the court, we would just drive like, 
ride the horses around the house. And one that my sister was on, it got too close to the house and like the clothesline and it knocked her off the horse. <laughs> I mean, it was funny then. It's still funny now, but yeah, she wasn't hurt. It was, she was fine. But that her that horse was a jerk. So I think it was name was King. And um, if he ended up being blue, poo poo on that. All right. So we've got this going. I'm liking this. So I'm going to have this like in the corner. And then you just tuck stuff in here. So you just glue this like right here on the three sides. So, oh, you know what? Let's do some stamping there. Actually, you know what? Let me just get my Versamark because I do not want to be keep cleaning these things. But yeah, we had a hard time. I mean, we've always been chubby, um, but we could not get up on the horses. So we had our cousins drag the horses around to the back of the house so we could um, stand on the, the back um, it was like a paved, raised up um, back porch. And then we would just like step over and get on the horses that way. <laughs> like whatever works, you know. Okay, so this will darken up a little. Stamping in the Versamark. It seems like once it dries, then it'll, it'll get darker. Like that tone on tone. Ooh, I like that. Okay. All right, and then I want to stamp um, the bigger flower. Let's see, this is going to go here. Yeah, we're going to do some more stamping here. Okay, we can attach this one. Ooh, look how that's all coming out of there. Gross. All right, I have to get this glue off my fingers. Get any lessons in the hayloft? No. We did get um, stuck in a silo once. We were nosy kids. We would take those horses and go all over the place. So my family, they did. Um, they were tobacco farmers back then. And then they switched to Christmas trees. But um, So they were tobacco farmers, and they would hang stuff in uh, certain barns. And then there was always snakes. Um, but we were with another cousin of ours one time and we decided we would all pile into this silo and uh, there was just like a two by four across it and it was like full of like poop or something. And then of course we all get on there and the bar starts sinking down into this stuff and we couldn't get out of there fast enough. I think somebody got stuck. There was always a tetanus shot involved whenever we went down there. Somebody got stuck on the way out, like ripped our pants. We always wrecked our shoes. They teased us because we always had nice new shoes when we went down there. And um, they were always wrecked by the time we left. Okay. Cow poop, horse poop, guts from stepping on some kind of animal. All of it. All right. So this Misty Moonlight, this um, flip is, let me see here. This is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Four and a quarter by, oh, four and a quarter by six and a half. Let me change my, update my measurements. That was wrong. Okay, so I'm going to score again at a half an inch here. So I can have that little lip to attach. So at six and a half, I'm going to score this at a half an inch. Yeah, we got into some trouble down there on vacation, but it was always fun. We always had a good time. It seemed like every other year there was a trip to the hospital. I mean, there was just too much to get into down there. One year we crawled under the porch of a rickety old house that was like on the mountain. So my family, they're like by, um, at the top of one mountain, you can see Kentucky, Virginia, and North Carolina. Like they're that close to the state line. Um, but we were nosing around in an empty house and 
we thought we found a dead body. So we go screaming back to the house, get the adults. And um, turns out it was a dead cow that had crawled up under there to die. Like, poor thing. But we didn't know. We thought we had a mystery on our hands. Okay. And one more. Mmm, I like it. All right, so now let's fold this. Give it a good score. But this also goes back, Rose, to that not all horses are nice. Uh, okay, so again, I'm going to glue my flap onto the designer paper first. Make sure this is straight. And then I'm going to put this on my piece of um, basic gray. All right, so we want to put glue right in here. And I do like this half inch border instead of, um, I know I've done some before with just a quarter inch and I prefer the half inch. It's just more, more glue to use to make Rose happy. <laughs> All right, let's get that pressed down. And then we're going to add more glue. I swear when you use all this glue, by the time everything dries, it really makes this whole thing feel like you've used chipboard. So it's worth it. All right, let's scooch this on here. And if you are wondering, oh, when are we going to add doilies and dots and stuff? That, we're going to add those all at the end. We're going to like go through and add them on some different pages. Okay. I'm wondering what this piece is for. Um, doot, doot, doot. White on back. Okay, so then I've cut this white piece that I should have put down first. This was for the back of here. Oh, that can't be for the back of there. That's the wrong size entirely. Four. Yeah, four by. Nope, this should be four by six because this piece is four by. Oh no, four by five and three quarters. That's right. All right, so let me just trim this a little bit. Five and three quarters. And you know, all this cardstock makes this album like bulkier and bulkier. So if you are more interested in a, like a nice flat book, um, that's not what this is going to be. But I like all the the bulkiness of it. All right, and I'm just getting this centered. Nice. And let's just smooth that back down. This is where you can also um, add some things with like paper clips, like make fancy clips and add little stuff. Um, but I like just the, you know, the basics we're putting. Oh, so let me show you this. So with all these little pockets, you can make little tags, have like little pictures. Let me get some of these little ones out. And you can tuck them in like this can go all the way down the bottom. This one can go all the way. This one and then you can have more. So flat things generally, because we glued this flat, but that's a neat little um, thing. Like I called it step pockets, but it's, I forget the name of it. But again, it was, um, this was a die from Tim Holtz. I'm sure you could use your cutter and make something like that, but eh, I was not interested in that. All right, so top flip, let me check the notes. Yep, white on back. All right, then we've got our, we're on our Misty Moonlight page and I'm trying not to dawdle. So we're gonna do two small side flips. So let's go to our pile and I really cannot remember what these were for. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe this was, let me go back. I did cut that for this. Yep, so you are gonna have a three by three piece or three and three quarter piece for the backs of this. Yep, three and three quarters. Because we're gonna have another side flip in the back and that's what that other piece is for. So let's just get this in here now. 
And of course, if you did not want to use this, you could just have that cardstock to use um, however you want. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I like it. I may add some ribbon to this too. Like just staple some on. Um, but for now, we want... Let me put this to the back. We're going to have cinnamon cider flips. And this is the paper we're using, this Misty Moonlight print. So we're going to have, boop, boop, boop. See, this is getting more bulky. So we're going to have these two flips here. All right. And I just have to glue them so that they have room in between, like a little space. And then we're going to make some stacked pockets over here with um, some Misty Moonlight. So we're going to stack them so they're kind of like on top of each other. All right, so let's do this first. So these flips are three and three quarters by three and a quarter. So I'm going to score it again at three and a quarter. So I have a square and that half inch border. See why I have to write all these measurements down? Because it's crazy. All right, three and three quarters, and I want a half inch, so I'm scoring it at three and a quarter. And then same here, three and a quarter. Okay. And again, we're going to do some random stamping. Just get this collage effect. And actually, I'm going to lay these like connected and then I can stamp and cross over and um, it'll look neat. Like even though there will be a gap in between here, your brain will fill it in. All right, that. And there. Um, let's do this. And I feel like I want to bring in that, this smaller flower from the other set, the Blessings of Home set. So let's put that right there. Nice. And just a little bit edges. Because this is more of a delicate image. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Like this is, I think, more of a delicate image than the rose. But I think they go well together. So, all right. So we've got our stamping. And let me just double check. Yep, I did cut some paper for that. So these are three by three. So let's fold fold. And oops, I hope I'm still live because um, something happened with my inner studio. Yeah. Mute. Okay. Hmm. Solo layout. All right. Sorry about that. My mouse must have moved and like it made my whole um, yard stream thing disappear. That's no good. Okay. Let's bring our book back in. So left page, we're going to attach these flips to the designer paper first. And again, that's just my personal preference because it's easier to line up. And actually, it's better for me to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to put these about 3 16 of an inch or so from the edge. You just don't want them right on top of each other in the middle because you want it to be able to open freely. All right, so let's hold this. And I'm just eyeballing to try to get it the same distance from this edge as this one is from that edge. Okay, so then we're going to put that there. Mm-hmm. 
feel like that one's on a little crooked, but nope, I don't want to rip it up. All right, so let's glue this on. All the glue. So these envelopes are five ish by seven and a quarter ish. You could certainly make something exactly like this, but I mean, not exactly, but same idea, but with um, the medium envelopes, if you wanted, because I'm sure everybody has plenty of those um, or like invitation size envelopes. Oh, thanks, Penny. They're very Valentine-y, right? All right. Mmm, like this. Rose, you would probably be putting magnets on here, if I'm guessing. I'm going to add these three by three bits to the back of our flips here. And I just have to, yep, try to look and make sure I'm going in the right direction, that everything's not crooked. Man, I can feel that glue bottle disappearing. Okay. Press all of this. Mmm. I love it. Okay. Now this. Let me first. You're going to need like a little um, one inch circle punch. And I keep one handy. So we want to. This will be like a thumb pull. Like so you can actually put stuff in the pockets. So I'm punching like about halfway down in the middle-ish. And I'm going to do that for both of these pieces. And actually, we might need to um, do a little sponging. I haven't used a regular sponge in so long. Let me see. I know I have one handy. Yep, here we go. Um, just so the, that the pockets stand out from each other. So let's first do um, a more, a little bit more of our vintagey stamping. And then the flower. Do you do you have any secrets I don't know about? <laughs> I don't know, Rose. <laughs> Why? Why do you ask? <laughs> Are you afraid I'll tell? <laughs> Rose, you can tell that's a good sign that we've been friends for a very long time. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're making me laugh now. <laughs> All right, so let's do Misty Moonlight. And I hope my sponge isn't dry rotted because I haven't used it in so long. These things do dry rot, just in case you were wondering. They really do. Especially if you've got them like sitting in the light. All right, trying to get in this little, in the circle part. Mm, I like it. Let's pinch it this way. And check time. We are doing good. This is five and six. And we've got one more layout. And then the front cover bit. And then we go back and add in some doilies. And um, we're going to color in the, the flowers that I cut out. All right, Misty Moonlight. Okay, I will have to rinse that out. So let's put that somewhere. So this page, um, actually, I can go ahead and glue this down. Oops, I missed a spot. There we go. So I'm gluing this flat down. Rose should tell some secrets. 
extra words in there. What do you mean? Am I echoing or something? Tony, yes, we did. Rose and I were roomies. We were the ones that wanted to sleep downstairs in the basement where it was nice and cold. So I'm not going to say which one of us may have made some noises. I think it was both of us. Let's see. So I'm going to put that here. So I want this. I don't want to be able to see the designer paper through this hole, this little gap. So I want to put this first one down, the top one down first. And so see how that is like there? That's too high. So I want to bring this down. All right. So I'm going to put this here first. And this piece is two by five. And actually, let me put that right there so I know. And we're just going to glue this on the sides um, because we want to be able to push something through all the way down. All right. I think that's about where I had it. It's going to have to be good now. All right. So let's hold this in place. And then this one is going to go right here. Okay. Now this one, we are going to glue the three sides because I want something to be able to go all the way down, you know, through this one, but stop here. So this pocket, three sides, like a regular pocket. Cape Cod was fun, Rose, for sure. It did snow. Yep. That was good times. Poor Marilyn. And of course, um, so we had two houses next to each other, Marilyn and then like her brother's house. And uh, I remember one time when I went to, yeah, Boston Beans, something like that, Penny. I went to the house next door to use the bathroom. And as soon as I sat on the toilet, the toilet seat cracked. <laughs> and I was like, you got to be kidding me. People have been using this all weekend and it has to break when I sit on it. <laughs> all right. So see, now we've got that pocket and then we can put stuff down here, like all sorts of little goodies. I love it. And then if you wanted to make like a little something, like I'll probably come back here and put one of these roses on here, but I would only attach it like down here so that you could still slide something behind it. Uh-huh. We're going to save that. All right. Next, this is the last layout, page seven and eight. Um, and we're going to use the, hmm, I feel like I haven't used much freesia, but this is going to, I am going to have freesia on the front cover, but I do like this. I was thinking of using this again. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. What do I have in store? Oh, flip the page. Oh, so we're going to have a side flip here. You know what? Let's do it this, this way, because the other piece that I had cut for the side flip is, um, fresh freesia. So here we go. All right. Now for, I want to make a corner tuck spot. So I'm going to glue this one down flat, a corner um, pocket, corner tuck, something, but we're going to do it out of designer series paper. All right. So let's do this and get this centered. Yeah, this is going to be cool. So all the papers that we had left over, from when we cut our designer series paper, you want to find one and pick something. Um, we need a piece that is three and a half by three and a half. So we want something, um, maybe this one. Yeah, I think this one I'm going to go with. Let me put that down here. So I'm going to cut this three and a half by three and a half. Penny, I make these just for myself. I don't worry about other people if they're like deserving enough. Although, I mean, I did make that one for Anne. I do make them for people, but I do mostly make them for myself. All right. So three and a half by three and a half. Now we want to fold this um, diagonally. So corner to corner diagonally, and I'm not measuring this. I'm just pinching it with my fingers. 
All right, now let's bone fold this. And I'm going to glue it together. Okay. Now the thing with a pocket, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this in other projects. If I was to glue this flat, like put glue here and here and just stick it down here in the pocket in the corner, um, it's a tight fit. So you can only fit like a few things in here. It doesn't have any, the pocket doesn't have any extra wiggle room. Um, so I want to make a, you know, a flap that'll go down like a seam. So three and a half by three and a half, fold that in half. Now we're going to get our scoring thing again. And this time, so this is the folded layer. That's still going to be our pocket. So I'm going to score here and here. And I want to score it at, um, ideally I like a half inch, but that would make the pocket too small. So we're going to have to go a quarter inch. So a quarter inch that way and a quarter inch here. Okay. This just makes any pocket like lift up a little bit. Um, so let's cut this corner off and angle these. All right, all these little bits can go away. Now we take what we folded, like fold this back, smash it down, and then this is what we're gonna glue to our page. And it just makes the pockets a little bit roomier versus just gluing them flat. If you give it this little extra seam. All right, now see, this little bit is poking out and right down here. So that just means I have to trim this at more of an angle so that we don't see those. All right, let's get this one more, like a good press. Because this is two layers that we folded and glued. All right, let's come back. Now I just want to put glue right on this part and right here. All right. And then I'm going to glue it. Um, I'm going to go right to the corner. I'm not going to leave any gap. Okay. And then, oops, push that. So I just got to hold that there for a minute. Yeah, Penny, cards are lovely, and if you mail them, it's even better, for sure. Ooh, sorry, I knocked the camera with my water. Oopsie. Okay, so now we have a nice little pocket. And you can put something into the entire, um, like the entire uh, size of the pocket. I feel like I need a little bit more glue down there. It's just a teeny little bit under this corner. All right, let me hold that there for a sec. And then we're gonna make our, our side flip. And this one I'm probably gonna put up top. All right, and that is just because like this one was kind of like near the bottom, so I'm just gonna shift it up a little. And then we've got that one. Mmm, all these, oh, I love it. So then this one will be up here. Oof. I'm just thinking like, what am I going to put in here? I don't even know, but I love making these things. And the fact that I, I just can't get over it. It's out of envelopes for the base. You could Penny <laughs> every time I glue something. All right. So this is four and a half by four. So I'm going to score it on the four and a half side at four. That makes our flip layer four by four with our half inch um, seam or fold, whatever we want to call this. I can't think of the word now, but all right. 
and then we want to do just a little bit more stamping with our Versamark. Mm, 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 mm. I love all of it. Yeah, ever since Sean said that the other day about my ink pad not being so nice and new, I feel like it's getting rattier and rattier. Like right before my eyes. All right, and then this, like right down the side. I need something there. Um, let's use this flower again. There we go. Show you one that we've um, filled, please. Do you mean a glue bottle or an album? <laughs> I will have to dig through and find one because then I just lay them around everywhere. Like I don't have a good storage or organizing system. All right, so now we're going to, again, glue this to the designer paper first. So I want to put my glue on the inside. And I'm doing this closer to the top like that. Let's press this down. And then more glue. And I think this is only a two ounce bottle of glue. I bet it would seem like it would last longer if I had a bigger bottle. Mmm all that okay let's get this down yeah i really like this especially with the green that seems more springy even though it's garden green okay let's do this press 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 and then one more piece we're going to glue this on the back so this is three and three quarters by three and three quarters Mm -mm. So see how this has really gotten to be a little thick. Um, and don't forget we've got our books. So we add these back in. Um, and let's put these. I will put the whole thing in here. And if you find that some of your envelopes are coming up, like I can see this right here, I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue right there. So nothing comes apart. You just hold that there for a minute. Um, so what I would do, I'm not going to do it right now because time is of the essence, but you could go back and go to your scrap designer series paper piles um, and all the cardstock that you've bits and pieces that you have left. You can either add some layers, some designer paper and some layers or do the stamping like we've done here, any of it. Um, to these albums, or you can leave them plain. It's up to you. Okay. But we're just going to put these in here. And this one will go in here. And I want to have everything in here, um, like as far as this, because I want to add my ribbon and I want this to be like as bulky as it's going to be. But look at that. Mm, I love it. All right. So covers. Here's our cover layers, front and back. Now I like to add the ribbon first, so um, I'm gonna do some sticky strip. I don't really like glue with ribbon. I do like Fabri-Tac if you have that, but not everybody does. Um, so sticky strip works. So I wanna start with the back. And let's pull, so this is the denim ribbon that you need. And I want to have enough room for a pretty big tail. So let's go with this. And the ribbon, I just eyeball. All right, but I do want it to go in the middle. So let's fold it. And I swear we are maybe five or ten more minutes. Okay. Now let's lay 
in the middle and we can just eyeball that um, by using that flap. So that's going to go right there. And I am going to put more glue when I put the paper down, but I still like to have this tape for the ribbon just in case. All right, now this, this is the halfway point. So let me slide it. Uh, slide it till it's right down there at the middle. And there we go. Give that a good press. Now more glue. I'm going to put this right there. And again, you want to pay attention to the flowers. This seems like there's a lot. It needs to go this way. So right up to the edge. All of the glue. Oops. I think I've got a little booger stuck here. There we go. Yeah, Rose, remember when we made um, we made those flip books and you did the measurements and figured out how to make it a, a mini flip? Those were good projects too. And that was just all out of cardstock. All right, let's move this around a little bit. That's worth bringing back. I don't know what I've done with those measurements. That was probably three computers ago. Like, I don't even know that I still have any of that. I'm pretty sure I still have one of the books downstairs somewhere. Was that at the retreat? I think it might have been that we made the mini one. Yeah, I feel like I've got um, something stuck here. Could it be glue? Yep. Okay, so that's our back cover. And flip this around. Now for the front, I like to see the ribbon. So this, I'm just going to glue on here. Some people want the ribbon underneath on both of these and it's just personal preference. But I like to see more of it, not just like the parts that's going to be over here tied in a bow. All right, so let's get this. That looks good. And I need to open that to press it because it's getting very tall. Yes, Rose, you did. You went out of above and beyond. All right. Now this, these little strings are annoying me. This was from our book. Actually, let me just tie this in a bow for now. All right. That'll be somewhat better. All right. So this, our ribbon's going to tie like this. And we are not done. I'm just tying this. Um, and I'm not going to do a knot. Okay. And if you had wanted to do two rows of ribbon, um, that would be fine too. That would look cool. Oh yeah, I like that. Right, I do need to even that out some. All right, now we need to go back to, we have this one little piece left. So you're going to have the cinnamon cider is, this is for our top front cover bit. This is three and a half by five and a quarter. So remember the piece that we cut at the beginning, our shimmery white that we cut, um, hmm, that I cut wrong. Five and a quarter. Oh, this needs to be. by five. Okay. So three and a quarter by five for the shimmery white. I have to trim this down by five. Okay. Now I need to bring back some colors. So the plan for this cover is I stamped and cut out a couple of flowers, the big flowers. Ugh. There we go. So I want to do um, some more of the collage stamping on the back of here. And then I'm going to color this in, pop that up, 
and probably have like a little something here. Yeah, maybe just the flowers for now. So this will be, stamping is going to be up to you, but I'm going to focus, since my colors are freesia and cinnamon and pale papaya, I'm going to focus just on freesia and um, cinnamon. And I'm actually going to, I don't need to clean my stamps so much. They have Versamark on them. So stamp off a couple of times. Just I want everything really light in the background, um, except for this. Let's do this. Full strength. Ooh, yeah, I like that. And then let's take this in the freesia. And you could add any of the colors, really. Like some of the greens. I, I didn't use any green other than on the paper, but some garden green. Let's add some of these, like full strength. Because remember, this is going to be covered up like right here. Yeah. Okay. And then this I'll do in the cinnamon cider. Oh, yeah. I like that. I do like that. I feel like I need another little something right here, although this is just going to get most of it covered up. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, let's do one more. Let's do this right there. Okay. I can live with that. Um, now this, how do you want to color in your flowers? Uh, it's going to be up to you. Um, I think the easiest is to do some um, inks, like ink blending. So let me get the purple again. You could also use Stampin' Blends. Um, you could use your regular markers. I did not put any tape under here. And Penny, that's a good idea. Um, I totally forgot that, and I should, because I don't want that go anywhere. So I'm going to layer these and um, put dimensionals on that. But you're right, I have to untie that. Good call. Um, but let me color these flowers. And this, I'm just going to put some like right in the middles all the flowers and then I am going to bring in some green on this one so I'm not looking to have everything colored and then the shimmer really comes through it looks cool all right so that is garden green but I'm going to add a little bit of soft succulent soft succulent just because I want a lighter shade and yeah, there's green. Yeah, cool. So just hitting the leaves and like around the edge. So it's not like colored perfectly. It doesn't have to be. I just want some different colors in different spots. All right. And I do want to fill in that purple a little bit. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Penny, it's a good thing you're paying attention with the, uh, with the tape. All right, so let me glue this on. And I have to open it back up anyway because we have to go back in and add some doilies and some of the dots that we're using, the classic matte dots. Okay, so let's get this down. Put this over to the side, get this tape back. And again, we're just gonna go right across the, the whole front, just like the other one. Let's see here. Eyeballing, does that look straight? And I take it to about there, like not quite to the edge, like leave a little half inch or so. All right, can I peel this up? Ugh, I need a thing. I need a thing. There we go. Oops. All right, so let's put this, just drag it and press. 
and then this will be popped up with foam tape and this is the um the pretty the strong foam tape that i really love and i'm going to use this like all down the center a lot of it okay that's that and then i'm probably only going to do um i'm going to do dimensionals for the flowers to pop on here because the dimensionals don't seem to be as thick as this all right now let me get a little bit more glue on this foam and ooh, all right 10 after yikes penny you're afraid not to pay attention <laughs> What's a good thing you are, that's for sure. All right, a little glue, just so I can wiggle this around. And I need to pull this a little closer to me. Ooh, yeah, I like it. All right, let's hold that in place. Let's get some dimensionals for this. And then we're just going to toss in a few doilies and use some of our dots. And I think when I post my blog, I'll show um, the pictures uh, because I do want to go in and color some of these that I cut out and add them. But um, I don't want to hold you guys up. I probably should have tried to stretch this out over three days so I didn't have to rush. Um, but that's ugh, no time for that. And in fact, Thursday, I am going to have to skip this Thursday. So it's just been too busy of a week. Um, so I was going to do, um, what was it? The wobble cards. And then I said we would add in spinners and we will do that next week. All right. Ooh, I love it. I feel like something's a little bit crooked. Maybe it's my eyeballs. does that let me look at it on the screen it looks okay on this no nope, it looks a little bit off too late now okay let's go in and add some so these doilies are good they've got cinnamon cider misty moonlight and basic gray and they're white on the back so you could really make them any color you want okay i'm going to do at least one of each basic gray and cinnamon cider and I mean, you could take like even just a partial and cut it. Let's see here. Hmm. I really don't want to cover that up, but you can't really see a lot of it anyway. Let me just add a little, um, we could add something like here, like just a little bit. Let's do that. All right, just so it's poking out. You could crinkle them up. Hmm, nope, I don't like that. I'm gonna come back to that. All right, what I had intended was, let's just go through and open our book. I wanted one here for sure. And this might be a good thing to add, like go back and punch something out and then add that. So right now I can add this and I don't want to put glue anywhere, but like right here. So let me pay attention to that. I like that. So we can still have our little tag. Nice. And then we've got a blue and a gray. So the gray that would go nice here. And then I can add something right there. And I did want to add some more um, ribbon too. So for now, I'm just going to put this here. And it can hang off the side a little bit. Nice. Yep. So that'll be another good spot to put something. Like this flower bit that I cut out. I can ink sponge that, ink blend it, pop that up. 
I will ink blend that with the misty moonlight. And actually, let me just show you. So I would put, um, let's just do it, right? I want a little bit of ribbon. I like this, I call it swoop and loop. So lay your tape this way and then come and crisscross it and go up and down. Okay, so then we've got that. So the ribbon's like that. And then we can put this like here and pop it up. And then we've got that ribbon that's like behind it. So I like doing that. All right, so we'll do that. And then we've got one more. Hmm, we could use this one as a white one because I feel like this is all a lot busy. So. I think right down here is going to be a better place for this because then we can flip it and then we'll see something. So that's what we're doing. And I can probably um, cut something out and put that there too. And then we'll just put a few of the gems on and call it done. So these again are the classic matte dots and I'm probably just going to use the gray ones and the white ones because we don't really have vanilla or a whole lot of black on this. So, mm, 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 mm. I don't feel like I want anything there. Gray and white. So I can put some here. Let's just use a whole roll or a whole, whole row of these three, like just a little something right there. I think I had said I might put a flower and I can still do that. So good. And then I want some gray. So that's going to go there. And then the gray dots could go. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want to put them on here because I'm going to, I want to leave that for writing. Um, but something like over here for sure. And actually let's just do it um, like a little corner bit here like a little triangle yeah and then we'll add some more over here one two three I like those mm -mm -mm. could add some more there but nope let's put some right here um it's gonna be I think it's going to be white ones on here and you can color these white ones too. Okay. So if we wanted to make them purple, you could do that, but I'm just going to stick them on here. So let's do one and then two up here. Okay. All right. I only went over by like 15 minutes, but so this is our, finished as finished as I'm going to get it tonight. Um, our finished mini envelope album slash journal and the shimmeriness really does come through on this paper. I mean, if you haven't used the shimmery white paper before, you're going to love it. I mean, it really does. It, it comes through some sparkles. So we've got our cover, our tag, our journal tag slash photo mount that will slide right in there. Our flip, our first journal that you can just use this for straight up writing in, or you can do a little bit more stamping in here too, you know? All right, so let's put this back in. I'll just do it later. So we've got our tuck here, our little Tim Holtz tuck. Can put stuff in and we'll make little things. We're going to have this flip Boop. that you can hide another picture and then you can have something here. You can write on that. Our other two flips. Oops, I'm out of camera. Our two pockets, one and two. Our other album that we've got slid in here. Then our corner pocket and see so that's our corner pocket and then our other flip and then all gets tied up so I mean look how thick this is 
and it does want to pop open like that because there's just so many layers and it's not ever going to be flat. So that's okay. All right. So I'm going to get um, website. My blog will be updated tomorrow night for sure. And if you have any questions, um, just email me and then I will um, see you guys next week. Thank you for making you feel guilty for never making one of these. Penny, no guilt necessary. Um, you can just make one this week. <laughs> no. If you want to make just cards, um, I mean, that's perfectly, that's a, a great project too. So thanks for hanging out, Rose, and um, sharing all of our dirty secrets. So no, it wasn't dirty secrets. All right, you guys. So I'm going to be here. Penny. <laughs> I mean, really, this is just a big involved card. If you think about it, it's, you know, multiple cards stuck together. Um, so night, everyone night, Julie, and I'll see you guys next week. So Gail should be here tomorrow and, um, Sue will be here on Friday. I believe you're still going to be here, Sue. Right. And then Sue should be back again. Um, or no, Gail should be back again on um sunday yeah rose you could always make it four pages and send to someone yep just like use two or something envelopes maybe three envelopes yeah and that would just be the same as um not very different than like a four panel card uh, it's just more room to write on and you don't have to put pictures in it if you don't want to so yeah lots of ideas um okay you guys thanks for hanging out and i will catch you later have a good week bye Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, bye.